Nemo Sema to Panamo, Sema Nama Nemo Sema Nama, Sua Nemo Siano, Siano, Sinama Nama Nama, Ako Paracato Pana, Siano Amone, Amon Amo Sene Nemo, Animo. Inamor, 
Ah, Kepa Kapo Kapo Shika Pata Kapana Kateke Pana Eketoko Pana Kateke Pana Sina Kapona Shina Mana Mana Sina Kapala Katebala Hemana Mani Mana 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 Sina Mana 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 Nakato kapala katema, sina kapoli kato madane, sina mono mana mane mane, ine moshina kapale do, emo sina mane la, ene mone ya, ene mo sene, sene mo sena no mana mane ne, emo sina sina mo na ne, ema na ne anesia, anene sina na sina, sene kepo na mane moshine mana, anima sina no sina na mane. Thank you tonight. We give you all the praise, most high. We give you awesome God. We are grateful. We give you all the glory, give you all the honor. Beautiful beyond description. Mighty is your name, awesome is your name. We appreciate your majesty, O oh God. Thank you for the privilege to be in your presence tonight. It's not by power, it's not by mind, but by your message. We are grateful. Someone begins to give him praise to now. Thank him for bringing you to service. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us to church. For your love, for your mercy, for your kindness. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, most high. In Jesus' name name we worship amen amen hi everyone good evening to you everyone hi family good evening good evening good afternoon good morning good everything according to your timing welcome you to tonight's missus You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? Yes, Pastor, I send you the link of uh, Zoom. The link is there in case anyone wants to come up here. Hi, guys. God bless you, Sister Babio. How are you doing? Okay, let's invite our friends and our loved ones. Let's touch the the love buttons and the share buttons. Let's bring in 
We have very interesting service tonight. One of his kind. Uh, you may not need it, but you need it for your friend. You need it for your loved ones. You need it for your children. You need it all around. Beyond you, you need the today message for people around you. So we encourage you to be a blessing by bringing someone in to be blessed. Surely, today message is for everyone. And I will be bringing, if you want to be my guest speaker, let me know. If you will not collect on honorario, you can join me on Zoom. We can have as much guest speaker as we want, provided honorario is free. Then you join us on the Zoom link is pinned on all the platforms. Wow, I'm still I'm still looking at us that are coming. Are you sharing? Are we chatting? Are we commenting? God bless you, make reality. Bless you, my bless you everyone. God bless you. To now show the how are you. It's been long I sight you. Hidero, God bless you. God bless you all coming. Mama Prisi, you are welcome. Hi, Pastor Inye, you are welcome. Everyone coming, God bless you all. Where are we? I'm still waiting. Be touching the like button, love button if you are there. YouTube, mommy, I need it all around. Sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, I said, can we flash our flyer for tonight. Hi, how are you doing? Everyone call me, how are you doing? If it's possible, if it's not possible. The subject is getting married made easy. There's one person that's always writing on this platform on YouTube, up to a week or two weeks now, uh, that he has been looking for a partner for 29 years. Getting married made this lesson from Ruth and Boaz. So we have a scriptural perspective to that. I can be married. A man once told me that he thought marriage was easy until he started looking for a wife. So getting married made this. In case you have a sister, you have a brother, you have a friend, or children who feel that it's difficult to get married, no. Uh, Ruth and Boaz have taught us how easy it is to get married. Okay. Yes. How easy it is. Uh, most of us, many of us are familiar. God bless you, I'm saying us. We, the story of Ruth, Naomi, Opera, and finally, Boaz. These were the major actors of the film. We were only, only told about Marlon and the children. Bill has said, our topic be this, make I go hard for YouTube, yes. Then yeah, our topic be this one. And so the story began with Naomi, who left his a land and the husband and two children because of the crisis as people are doing jackpari now, jackpari from Africa, jackpari from Nigeria to be precise. And so my root, now I'm jackpa from, his, from Israel, from his people, and he went to the land of the Moab, Moabites, he had the husband with, his two, with her two children, life scattered for her. She lost the husband and loved, lost the two children. The irony and the painful part of it is that the two sons got married and none of them had issues before she lost the two. That was tragedy. So she lost all the May, all the maids, all May husband and two sons in her life. But well, remaining her had two daughters in law. That was terrible. It's like having a a 
a cock without having any hen at all. And you expect reproduction or production, productivity can't work. So there was no fruitfulness around Naomi. In short, at a time he said it should be called Amira, it should be called bitter water instead of sweet water as Naomi. So we knew the story. And what was left of Naomi was Ruth, because Ruth and Oprah were still with her. And she found out that there was no need to keep these two uh, fowl, I'm sorry to use the word chicken. Fowl, fowl, chicken is the fry one. Fowl, is it fowl? Don't be fowl spiritual. Not, um, but she, there was no cock. You know, she told them, if you follow me now as ladies, how am I going to get a man to marry you? Am I going to give birth again? She wasn't having a husband. She lost the husband and two sons. And now she's left with her two daughters-in-law. And they want to stick to her to return back to her nation. And she's saying, if you follow me, who will not be your husband? That she can no longer give birth again. And even if she has to give birth, you are both adults. You cannot wait for little babies to marry you. She made them understand that, though they love her, but the situations wasn't going to produce any results. So there was bound to be crisis because these were still young widows and they needed to move on with their lives. So that's the story. And so Ruth followed Naomi. Oprah understood reason, good reason. That's a normal reason everybody should take in. Good cancer. Go, I know you love me, I still love you as a daughter-in-law, but go, you are still too young. Go and get married, go to your people. Oprah kissed her, loved her, and left. And Ruth, I don't know why Ruth stand on such a decision. I still don't know what inspired her, you know. And so Ruth said, no, I will follow you to the end. Your, your people shall be my people. And your God, my God, where you live, I will live. Where you die, I will die. And so she followed. And when they got to the nation of Naomi, Naomi told Ruth, they got there in Ruth chapter 2, Luke chapter 2. Hi, everyone coming. Good evening. And Naomi had a kiss man of her husband, a mighty man of wealth of the family of Elmen, Ruth chapter 2 from verse 1. And his name was Boaz. And Ruth the Moabite said unto Naomi, Let me now go to the field and glean ears of corn after him in whose sight I shall find grace. And she said unto her, Go, my daughter. And she went and came and gleaned in the field after the repast. And a harp was to light on a part of the field belonging unto Boaz who was of the kindred of Elimelech. And behold, Boaz came from Bethlehem and said unto the reapers, The Lord be with you. And they answered him, The Lord bless thee. Then said Boaz unto his servants, that, said, that was over the reapers, Whose damsel is this? He was asking, Who is this root? And the servant that was set over the reapers answered and said, It is the Moabitish damsel that came back with Naomi, out of the country of Moab. And she said, I pray you let me glean and gather after the reapers among the sheep. So she came and has continued even from morning until now that she tarried a little while in the house. Luke chapter 2, verse 7. Someone take notes. Then said Paul as on to Ruth, Hearest thou not, my daughter? Go not to glean in another feed, neither go from hence, but abide there fast by my maidens. Please, everyone, keep sharing, keep sharing. Let's bring in people. Let thy eyes be on the field that they do reap, and go down after them. Have I not charged the young men that they should not touch thee? And when thou at attest, go unto the vessels, and drink of that which the young men have drawn. 
Then she fell on her face and bowed herself to the ground and said unto him, Why have I found grace in thy eyes that thou shouldest? I'm coming. I'm trying to write something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why have I found verse 10 now? That thou shouldest take knowledge of me, see I'm a stranger. And Boaz answered and said to her, It has fully been showed me all that thou hast done unto thy mother in law since the death of thine husband. And how thou have left thy father and thy mother and the land of thy nativity, and have come unto a people which thou knewest not yet to so. The Lord recompense thy work, and a full reward be given him thee of the Lord God of Israel. On that whose wind thou hast come to trust. Then she said, Let me find favor in thy sight, my Lord. For that thou hast comforted me, and for that thou hast spoken friendly unto the handmaid, though I be not like unto one of the handmaids. And Boaz said unto her, At me time, come thou hither, and eat of the bread, and dip thy monster in the vinegar. Wow. And she sat beside the reapers, and he reached her patch corn, and she did eat, and was sufficed, and left. And when she was risen, up to glean, Boaz commanded this young man, saying, Let her glean even among the sheaves, and reproach her not, and let for some also some of the handful of purpose for her, and leave them that she may glean them and rebuke her not. So she gleaned in the field until evening, and beat out that oh my God. A bit of that she had gleaned, and it was a butternefer of barley, and she took it up, went into the city. And her mother-in-law saw what she had gleaned, and she brought forth and gave to her that she had reserved after she was sufficed. And her mother-in-law said unto her, Where hast thou gleaned today? And where rotest thou? Blessed be he that did take knowledge of thee. And she showed her mother-in-law with whom she had grown, and said, The man's name with whom I wrote today is Boaz. And I may say unto her daughter-in-law, Blessed be he of the Lord, who have not left of his kindness to the living and to the dead. And I may say unto her, The man is near of kin unto us, and one of our next kinsmen. And Ruth the Moabite said, He said unto me also, Thou shalt keep fast by my young men, until they have ended all my harvest. And I may say unto Ruth her daughter-in-law, It is good, my daughter, that thou go out with his maidens, that they meet thee not in any other field. So she kept fast by the maidens of Boaz to glean unto the end of barley harvest and of wheat harvest and dwelt with her mother in law. Wow. Interesting Bible passage. Hi, my guest speaker. How are you doing? The mommy. God bless you. Amen, mommy. I can see you already laughing because that's your feed, Abby. You have to carry your camera up a little. Want to be see your face? It will. Uh huh. Ah, uh -huh. ah. Uh -huh. You copying me? You wear like my mother. I, I was shocked when I connected. I saw that you are wearing the same. same can you imagine? I imagine we were not seeing it. It was ID. Interesting story. See, eh? I don't want to go ahead without somebody sharing a view from what we just read. Ah, this message is getting married made easy. We've heard that it's very difficult to find. Somebody have been typing on this my YouTube for weeks now. Um, I've been looking for a partner for 29 years. I wonder mm. why this person is not here. No one's looking for a partner, whether he has gone to everywhere to look for a partner for 29 years. I'll be how many years? Perez, somebody, I'm not seeing him now, ha. Huh? So I wanted the, the partnership, the, the person has finally come now. I had to tell you how to get now. I don't know why it's not here. Eh? Getting married made this. Who is looking for the topic? People who said that, uh, I'll be looking for a wife, I'll be looking for a husband. It's not easy to get married. And so we are saying here from 
uh, Ruth and Boaz, lesson from Ruth and Boaz, getting married made easy. That place we just read, is there anything there that is interesting for you, guest speaker? Everyone online, we just yeah. read the story of Ruth when he arrived uh, the nation of his mother-in-law. So, so what did we notice from Ruth there? Something, many things happened in that, that place already. That many, place. many, many things, mommy. Yeah. Many things, mommy. The first, the first thing I noticed from where we read in, in verse, in fact, what I want to say is that if you are trusting God for marital settlement, chapter two is enough, both man and woman, okay, for you now. to have. <laughs> Pastor Nancy, if you are looking for husband or wife, the Ruth chapter two we read is enough to give you your husband and your wife. Continues. It's enough. So the first thing I noticed, mommy, was being strategic, positioning, right positioning. Naomi already knows Boaz without, even before they left Israel, because the way she was explaining Boaz, you know that this is a family member, she knows Boaz. And she believes that Ruth will make a good uh, destiny for, for Boaz. So the first thing I noticed there is that she sent, okay, before the strategic positioning, the first thing I learned, mommy, I, I noticed is teachable spirit, humility. Ruth was somebody that was ready to take from the mother-in-law. What if, I believe that there were many uh, 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 fields in Israel at that time. Naomi could have suggested for Ruth to go to that particular uh, 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 wine press or this thing. And she would say, no, I'll go to another place. I realized that Ruth was loyal. She was ready to be taught. She had a teachable spirit. That is why she was able to accept whatever his, her mother-in-law. Let's note that she's not 100% obligated to Naomi because her husband is late. But she was ready, ready to learn from a mature believer, a mature person. So that's why when they told her, do this thing. You see, mommy, many single sisters, instructions are being given. Sometimes maybe preaching is going on. They will say, ah, pastor, I don't blame you. It's because you have, have been married. Did you do it when you were, when you were single? You, did you do it? You hear people saying it. They are not ready to learn. But they are not ready to take counsel. But youth, uh, Ruth was able to take counsel. Okay, go to this place. Go to this particular place. And she went. And when she got to that place, Boaz was a man that had good eye. But he was slow, steady, and smooth. I believe that immediately Boaz saw Ruth, even this in his accent, who is this lady? Something is already going on in his heart. Ah, who but says he was so? Not... Who says so, Pastor Nine? The Bible did not say so. You cannot feel uh, an old man see young guy. Something. He only saw a girl who was serious. No, I cannot just keep quiet there. How can you say you believe? He saw Ruth, something was going on in his heart. What is going no, on? No, what I mean, mommy, is that he saw a lady that was responsible. Uh -huh. That was an attraction. A uh -huh. lady that was hardworking. Uh -huh. Even if he's even if he's not attracted, something going in her mind is on his mind is who is this person? I you tell yeah, you what? something that going for in mind. I wanted to explain. <laughs> but, <laughs> that is, going on in his mind is talking, but it's it's catching my this is an advanced man who just walk into the field and see somebody busy walking. So he, she, she just appreciated that, that she's been a good girl. He has heard about her. Did you see anything romantic in that man's mind? For God's sake, the man will be small picture. No, it's, it's not, it might not even be for him. Mommy, good character attracts. Mm -hmm. I've seen people that when they come to a place, they will see a, a young lady. The way she's behaving in the company, the man will say, ah, this, it's not that she's having maybe feelings for the lady. He can say, ah, who is this lady? She's very composed. Uh -huh. she, the way she responds, okay, he can attract. Bo Bo what I was trying to say that. Boaz, now we're not talking about feeling and then no, it doesn't. No, mommy. Just, uh -huh. ah. I make a cook like No, mommy. So what I mean uh -huh. is that her, 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 she being loyal and hardworking. Because even when you were written, I say, Kai, a lady walking like this from morning, she walked. She was she she walked from morning to evening. She didn't get tired. So I believe that. 
her character, her hard, her, she being hardworking, being engaged, was was something that drew his attention. Mommy, she was not the only the young person there, but uh -uh. I believe she, the way she was working, uh -huh. made the man to say, ah, this person, it 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 is it, is something that can attract a person. Somebody can be working in a company. The way she responds, the way she acts, the way she greets, people can say, ah. Who is this young lady in this hero? A lady still greeting people like this. So that's the attraction I mean. Ma. Even Pansola is supporting you that uh, uh, even this person that is calling me, please, I'm on life service. Even Pansola is supporting you that uh, the man gave, uh, gave her water and vinegar. The fact that vinegar. the man gave her water and vinegar. Eh? Does it mean, do you know whether that man is, is feeling something romantic? Pastor, you don't say it very well before you can come. Yes, in. yes, mom. It's this very, very important. Uh, it's not proper. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, see, uh, Pastor, you just, why, why I draw you on that, you actually reflect on where I wanted you to start from. The hard working, the hard working. Ruth was not lazy at all. You see, if you no. see the verse 2, it was not actually now me that first introduced this man. He said, now we have a kiss man of ours, a mighty man of words. Okay? I wrote the more by seven to Naomi, let me go to the field and glean. So it was Ruth that orchestrated the going out. So Ruth didn't follow Naomi because uh, he, she just had pity. She followed Naomi to find solution to her as a mother. You see, Naomi was beyond, was no longer just a mother-in-law to Ruth. Ruth has taken Naomi as a mother. So she wasn't there to complain Naomi as, as some women will do. They will say, you eat your children, finish. You want to destroy our destiny. Immediately she got to the nation of Israel with the mother-in-law. She the first thing she said is that she wants to go out. You see that? So she was not lazy at all. She said, let me go out. And he said, but Ruth, never said unto Naomi, let me go to the field and glean. Years of corn after him, in whose height I shall find favor. See that? So he said, let me just go and join and glean to where I will find, find grace. And she went, and she happened to meet herself in the field of Boaz. And so when Boaz came, and it was when Ruth actually went back, Naomi asked her, where did you glean today? He said, it was the field of Boaz. So now yeah. Ruth was not lazy at all. It was when she bring the message that it was from the freedom of Boaz that Naomi now begin to explain, you see, that this is who Boaz is. Say, mommy, advance or no advance, Biro is still working. 100 years, so hard working, I trust the Biro of Mr. Boaz. Go and sit down there, amen. So that's not where we are. Don't carry us to Biro too, too fast. No, no, allow us to enjoy the character aspect. Character before Biro. Eh? Biro not go work when character is smell. Don't just carry us, go where we don't want to go for now. So that's, that tenacity, that strength in Ruth, make Ruth believe that something, mommy forget, Uncle Boaz was in love. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, no, that's not the beginning, seriously. It's possible he no. was in love. We are not disputing that. But that was not the beginning, okay? Pastor, you know, just as you said, it was not only Ruth that was in that feed. There were many other ladies. So many. But the first thing we are drawing out here that we want many ladies to know is that a lady that wants to marry a good man should not be lazy. It's true. That's where we are starting from. Exactly. That's where we are starting from. So we are talking about getting married made easy. A lazy person will not get married easily. Not in this social media world where women are not throwing themselves for men at free we do you see that so laziness is not part of it so this woman had married don't you think that it was even what would have what could have sustained them in that their nation was because this the, his daughter-in-law were strong for her they kept yes. her they kept her they kept because what you don't know how to do before you not suddenly want to do it if she had been lazy before she would not come to a strange land and still quickly go out. As they arrive, in, this woman is going out. Let me go and look for what we will eat. And so if you 
must attract. We are not just talking about us, even to our children, to our friends, to our loved ones. Okay? Mom, a lady that wants to marry a good man should not be lazy. Rita George, yes. I hope you are getting better now. So laziness first is the first key there. Laziness. And another thing Ruth did in this uh, uh, chapter 2 person here is that when Boaz told Ruth, glean here, continue, and he told the young men, allow some good stuff to draw from Ruth. The Bible says Ruth laid on her face to appreciate Boaz. That's she was respectful. So Very respectful and appreciative. Yes. But it's not common, Pastor Inye. It's not common among some single ladies. It's not common among some single people. It's not common among some youth. This issue of respect is very, very scarce. It's not as we think. Okay? Because this issue of respect and appreciation, that is why this, the mindset of women believing the man is looking for something actually become difficult for women to respect. You see it's that? true. Yes. The first thing that will come is that, is this one is doing good for me. Don't you think he wants something? You know, when that attitude comes for, forth, it will be difficult to appreciate, to be difficult to respect. And so you see, people are not yet married. Some people are not yet married. We are supposed to be young people with a lot of mannerless character that you are like, hi, now, wow, who go put this up for us? You understand? Mommy, it even happens actually in church. You see a sweet sister. Just because your brother is greeting you, hi, hey, sister, Annabelle, good morning. She, she will squeeze face. Mm -hmm. That squeezing face is a ha. You are, you are about chasing me. Don't chase me. Leave me alone. Yes. That's, ah, Sister Annabelle, how was your week? The person will squeeze face, angry. So you are, yes. you are pushing out potential people that is meant to even come close to the person. Yes. And, Mommy, in, in this uh, uh, being grateful, you see that youth, uh, Ruth did not have entitlement mentality. Yeah. Many young girls have entitlement mentality. Mm. They believe they should have that whatever they have, or whatever you are giving them is by right. Mm. For example, a brother deciding to give them lift after service, mm. or deciding to give them, they will not capitalize it. Be sure they won't abuse it because they are beautiful. Yes, yes, mommy. Mm -hmm. They will not want to abuse it. They will think it's their best right, forgetting that the brother is not their father. <laughs> But because this one is a guy, so they just suddenly behave that there is something about me that is truly him. So I don't need to be telling him thank you beside. Am I the only guy here? Why did you choose so? You see the way we just begin, just everybody decided believing that because uh, Boaz have uh, You see yes, that type of mentality is everywhere. <laughs> because Boaz is already loving or having some eyes on roots. You see that stuff already now. You see? So this is very common. With Ruth, Pastor Nye, continue on that line first. Which angle, mommy? Okay, the aspect of entitlement mentality. So that you see that when this, when Ruth saw that distance, she bowed down and appreciated. She did not say, "After all, I'm beautiful. After all, I'm this." I've seen ladies that brothers or or, or people, maybe at a, a work colleague, is trying to help, is trying to. They now take it that ah is their best right mm -hmm. and they abuse it because once somebody have entitlement mentality they feel that the world revolve around them they will start mm -hmm. making mistake they will feel that they are now the queen queen of the whole world they will start making mistakes and that gratitude will not be there mm -hmm. that gratefulness will not be there i've seen in a place of work where a lady a, a brother which is a believer has been that is as if he has interest in this lady so if there is work in that particular unit, this brother will help this lady sometimes to do it. Wonderful. Because he's, he's looking for a way to approach. Mm -hmm. Mommy, do you know how this lady start abusing it? She will now stay at home and tell the brother to log her in, which yes. is a crime. That's what they do. The brother will tell her, no, I cannot log you in. I'm a child of God. Are you a child of God? He said, what is there now? Are you not helping me? Are you not helping me? Even there was a time she put that brother. That was why the brother ran and went to Nigeria now to marry. She came late, and manager was in the unit, and asked her, 
How did you log in? Because she had the app, so she logged in outside. How did you log in? I've been, I've been here since. I don't see you enter the unit. She told manager that that brother sent her to go and buy something, which was a lie. Hey. So the brother still feeling bad. She said, ah, pastor, she's she's now using me. Oh. I'm just being nice. I'm just being I'm, I'm just being courteous with her because I see that she's a beautiful lady. I, I feel that there's some things is that is strange or she should not do it. That's how the brother ran. You see? He's now in Nigeria tomorrow. You so see? she now believed that I can abuse it. I can. So she made her to lose. This brother has not showed her his interest. But she feels that, ah, she's doing it because she loves. And the mentality is, he loves me. He cannot do without me. Not knowing that the brother self has not even seen, sought the face of God well. He's just trying to say, be kind. So Ruth did not abuse it. Wow. Mommy, do you know that there are some people that when the owner of that place notice, they will not relax. Yes. Some ladies are like that. Yes. They will say, after all, he has noticed me. He will not, she will not relax. Yes. But it shows that her, her, she being hard work is inbuilt. She's not pretending. Yeah. She's not packaging. That some ladies, awesome. they are packaging. They will, a man will show interest. You go to their house, carry all the gram, uh, the mother clothes, the sister clothes, the children clothes, and wash. Your package is not part of you. You are lazy. You don't know how to wash. But they are doing it by, by fire, by thunder. Wow. Just That's because a... the interest is being shown. Yes. Yeah, Pastor, yes. Somebody is saying, yeah, Vera say, Vera, to do. Say, mommy, some men prefer lazy women, not the good women with good character. Is that true? No. Anybody no, can, can no. anybody can anybody confirm that? Mr. Vera says some men prefer lazy women, not the good. Anybody can say that men can never prefer lazy women. No. Men no, it's no, not possible. No. The fact that a man carry a lazy woman does not mean that he prefer a lazy woman. No, no, it's no, true. no, no, no. It's not possible. The fact that you see a man being married to a lazy woman doesn't mean the man. That lazy woman might have some lust that used to attract the man. You are wondering why this man go leave this kind of person, go marry this kind of person. Mommy, Let please, me... can I say something? Yes, yes. That is why bed is not meant to be on the fight. Maybe yes. the lady is lazy, but in yes. the other room, he has turned the man's viral to 360 now, degrees. Now, there. The man is now reasoning with viral, not yes. with human sense. I must know so, men reason with viral. That is why when the cloud, that, that we have not even got it to that chapter. That should be the last point. Because when you are beclouded with that, you don't foster with the vision. Your Bible no. is the one that will direct the book you will write on. And so when you see men who go for or let, uh, lazy to, it's so very unfair to see how some of us can take kindness for weakness. Yes, kindness for weakness. I like the way you put it. So when you see, that's when you see a father will be telling a young man, don't date this girl at a young age. That is when a guy, when young boys, your youth children start to do boyfriend and girlfriend, they may not marry well. Because mm. they will reason by the hard working of the other one, not by vision. So parents will be saying, this one will kill your destiny. No, the girl, girl. You know, say, people, uh, most ladies went lazy for physical. They get power for the other side. There must be mm -hmm. somewhere you have power. I never want to go there now. So there's somewhere you have it. <laughs> If all your thinking 24 hours. <laughs> if I never go there, I don't want that to that side. Yeah, let's stay in our lane, okay? I don't want that to carry me to where <laughs> I, I, I cannot go. <laughs> we are still in Jerusalem. Why are you taking us to go to you are taking us? We are still in Egypt. You want to take a mommy go zipper? I don't they go any deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, talk it out to see them. All the better men say, okay, oh, come. You two continue. <laughs> you two continue. All the better men say, okay, oh, come. I'm telling you. <laughs> Kai, I have a message to preach. I'm going to get there. <laughs> She's the man that you must be good in one part. <laughs> we are going, yeah, yeah. So men like to man on and together when they prefer it for this for their ego. You still have that one and that spirit. Mommy, let's go there. Sophia, I know they go there. All these two <laughs> <laughs>
I know they call me. <laughs> Which kind of problem? <laughs> I should not go there, Pastor. Can you skip this? <laughs> you see where the carriers go? I know they are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they just come. <laughs> See all their languages, so see their snaps. See what even they use. We are going higher. You must be good in one part. Mommy, let's go deeper. Let's go there. <laughs> Help us, mommy. <laughs> no, that place is not good for you. <laughs> I have to take you away from there. <laughs> She's up on everything. <laughs> mommy, they fall our hand. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's upon everything I do for this man. Upon everything I cook, I wash clothes. See the mumu, as Dr. Juliana said, they like woman of God's school. He says, see the mumu, he go, okay, mommy, please skip. Mommy, please don't skip any words. <laughs> I go skip them. <laughs> see languages. We don't need the part two. <laughs> he said, we go and bring this local guy. The man go say, you don't understand. <laughs> You know, that's, that's what Vera is saying. You know, understand. She's not that bad. <laughs> ah, Pastor, in the last second, we are talking about roots, okay, you guys. My, please don't skip. Continue. Don't skip. Pastor, we were where we were. Let's go back to we are, let's go to we are, the we are, foundation. <laughs> we are at being hardworking. Hardworking. Uh -huh. Hardworking. Finding something doing. Now mm -hmm. we are in the world of social media where, where especially mommy, I don't know that this thing was in Europe, where people will stay, watch TV from morning till night. You're a young girl. Mm -hmm. There is no work. Okay. Go and learn handwork. Go and mm -hmm. learn thread. Mm -hmm. Then go to school. Go and mm -hmm. do courses. Mm -hmm. You are improving yourself. Mm -hmm. You are bettering yourself. Mm -hmm. You are even upgrading yourself. Mm -hmm. So, and in doing that thing, it's not don't do it in the mindset that I'm ah, doing it to find a husband. For even for your own good, uh -huh. upgrade yourself, start a business, do a lot of things. Mommy have given us example here, mm. lot of things. Mm. Even sometimes I'm, 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 I'm be asking myself if I was going to school, I'm doing a lot of business. Mommy is doing. I'm mm -hmm. for I drop out of school. Okay. I don't have that bread to carry everything. Okay. So, but you, you see that she was she was doing hair salon, mm. she was doing business, mm. she was doing nails mm. and everything. She was not idle. So, mm -hmm. as a young girl, don't eat bread of idleness. Mm -hmm. Invest in yourself. Even as you're investing in yourself, your grade is increasing. Confirm. There's so, there's type of there's type of investment you do to yourself, do on yourself. There are some men self that will not. It's not that they're afraid of you, but there are some people that will not will be far yeah. because they see that you're a serious-minded person. Confirm. It is pathetic. You see, early morning, you see a girl in African shop, just in with men. You balance with men and be drinking Logogoro, drinking small stuff, 9 a.m. It doesn't speak well of you. And you are not yet married. And you are not yet married. Mm. If you are not yet married, if, if, even if you come there, greet to her, greet, buy something, go. Even if you don't have anything doing uh, uh, presently, look busy. Mm. Don't just come and go to African shop and stay there. And yet, if they bring suya, you eat. If they bring mepa, you eat. If they bring mustard, you drink. If they bring uh, ogogoro, you drink. Wasting your time. Some will stay there from morning till afternoon, doing nothing, just to. The owner of the so, African shop will be plating her. Yes, yes ma'am. Then you are going to meet the person every day. I'm going to my friend's shop. See, many people in this category. And I, I wrote it here. I said, no school, no work, no trade. Because husband is working, and you put your children in school, and just as to make example, you go to Africa shop that your friend is the one running the Africa shop, okay? And the person running the Africa shop is making money, making hair. You won't listen, watch, you won't learn. He's selling everything, keeping money in the locker, and you are there until you go back and take your children in school. Or later you go, your husband has come. And the person you are coming to meet, it's like, just like I say, I'll say, people are watching footballers. It's good, but just know it that don't kill yourself because the footballer is making his own money. I was saying somebody exactly. like just now that the football they play yesterday, but four people has gone to the other side of the world. Oh. The players will never die for you. You die for watching. You don't see that kind of stupidity before. 
The players who are making the millions will never die for you. Then the person that is watching, he said, before you know it, then go gossip and lie. Mommy, a man told my girlfriend that he cannot marry her just because she, she prayed too much and he went to marry an unbeliever like him. Now, every day quarrel. Why will your girlfriend marry an unbelieving man before? Exactly. What was life going to do with darkness? So there's no way unbeliever man will agree to marry a believer. If your believer read, they pray too much. It's not that prayer. Was that prayer said? A believer that prayed to the extent of one believer said you pray too much. Why are you going to marry an unbeliever? When you already come to that extent, you can pray to the extent it can be seen, you pray too much. Why were you considering to marry an unbeliever said? It's God that rescued him. You know, that's what we are saying. When it comes to marriage, people can throw away their covenant for years and they just marry one unbeliever. At the end of the day, you that is praying, what will make you go for unbeliever in the first place? So that one is already an error. And so you consider yourself as a young person like Ruth. Ruth stepped into a, a strange nation. The first mm. thing she did was to carry a bag. Want to go and look for where to bring. I can't sit down here and be crying. I can't sit down here saying that there is nothing. Uh -uh. Let me go. See, many of us, the life of that believer has a question mark, mommy. Before we call it, they follow the man sleep now. You know the French word. See, if you say you are a tongue talking person and you are sleeping with a man, you are not a believer like him. Because he know Bible pass you. So he not go even marry you. So let's not even go there. The days you the one the time we do boyfriend and girlfriend, we know they speak in tongue, we don't know Holy Spirit. After you have known Holy Spirit, you are speaking in tongue. You are still begging unbeliever to marry you. It's a question mark lifestyle. That's just the truth. Okay. But what we are talking about Ruth here, and everybody that must get good marriage, is that you must be very busy. You must be doing something. I know people who work already bought their house in Europe before they marry, even ladies. Mm. And as well in this part of Europe where we are, there is equal privilege. Okay? You cannot even say, uh, the man is, there are some work that women are working, they will receive salary more than men. Depending on where you are working. So there are equal privileges here. Man can be working, woman can be working. Especially when you are not even yet married though. Now when you are even married, and children give you chance, then you have to marry, you have to go and work. So getting married where we stand on now, whether it's a single parent or whatever, is that you must not be lazy. L uh, ladies, let what we was trying to say, don't just see a man and raise him from his head to his shoe and say, who is this? Okay, okay. Yes, mommy. So, Pastor Inye, from that perspective, Ruth was not lazy. Okay. Mommy, please, can I add something to that Ruth's yes. system? Yes. We also see that Boaz also was not lazy because he had something. In mm. fact, both of them came to a point that Boaz, for him to have that place, he must be a hard-working man. Rich man. To such thing. Rich he man. must be a rich man. Yes. So men also, as a woman is hard-working, you don't also fold hands. Woman, yes. you cannot be hard-working and you're looking for a man that he, he, the, the, only, the only thing in his mind is the world is not my own. He doesn't, he's lazy, he's not doing anything. Men, you also have to be up and doing. Find something doing. Mommy in Europe, men, some men are sitting there waiting for a woman that will be hard working. That we are saying that a sister is hard working. Doesn't mean that you, you are now relaxed like a beggary. Waiting for a woman to come and be feeding you and be taking care of you. Find wait, something also doing. Wait, oh, Pastor Inye, a woman that is Ma? doing this kind of work in Europe, I'm not talking about those are in Jalopi hustling before. Are you telling me that a woman that is doing this kind of work, we agree to marry a lazy man? Yes, ma. Eh? It happens. Yes, ma. What do you mean, what tell him? Love. <laughs> oh, this guy kind of has working. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Because I don't want to go for a man. What are you talking? Are you joking? Okay, Apu, no. That's why they will go and marry. They will not send them to go and eat a duro. Why do yes, you mommy. Not that that is it. Goat? Is that not love? Oh? You mean it? Wait, wait. It's why love, mommy. No, Pastor, yeah, maybe the man doesn't have documents. Or, oh, mommy, plenty. Oh. They will still beat the woman joint. Eh? Are you for it? Yes, mommy.
What the man will come and do? No, what thing will come talk? Say, he not get paper or he they sick or he get appendix or as in what? I don't understand. What can you guys explain? Ella, what are he they? He doesn't saying? have the strength to walk. Okay, man. <laughs> it's a pure love, mommy. <laughs> Wait, I don't. <laughs> Okay, that was also in the pregnant women every year. <laughs> Men got me for the pay. <laughs> mommy, it's true, there are many Jamie. That's what he's saying. How does that tell with yes, the bomb, mommy. bomb, 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 bomb. Eh? Who try him? So <laughs> I beg, I beg. They plenty for here, oh. For Italy, too. So I wonder a young guy will stay at home without doing something. Me as a mother, when I was in Europe, my daughter was a year when I put her in daycare and be going for the hours work. See, my husband wasn't even agree with me. He said the child is too smart. I told him I can't stay at home doing nothing. You know why? You were doing all the way from home. You were never lazy. Look at the case of Ruth. She wasn't she wasn't lazy from beginning. He said, work now night women like her. The man work now night women like her. Wait, <laughs> Sophia, talk. Oh my God. They go start to produce children every year for government to take care. Then food Jamie here. Things fall apart in Nigeria today. It's our wives that are feeding us. Ah, uh -uh. no, yes, mommy. It's a, a very big issue that needs to be because many many men now are not hard hardworking men. So we also have to advise women that are hardworking to look for. They are telling me yes, yeah. mommy. There are many chicolos in Europe. Why? Pastor, you don't understand. A man will sit down. He has documents. Will not work. He does some apart from that. Some maybe. They are looking for work. They are not finding situation. I've not given them the opportunity to work. I'm not talking about those ones. I'm talking about people that there is work. Mommy, do you know in UK there are people that are not working? Uh, not that's in UK, ah, yes. With all the work everywhere, they will force their wife to go and study nursing. So the wife will be bringing money, and they will start to. They are not working. Okay, they will not say they are the one taking care of children, Abby. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, but they, but they plenty for Italy. Now, what did they happen? I heard of one this evening. Okay, somebody say here one this evening. Ah, <laughs> Doctor Fumi don't laugh now. Maybe not force it to no see. <laughs> but they will be living together. The woman will be under government. Yes, over lazy mommy, and they will be fighting over children money. Jamie even worse. Now the wife they renew for the for them. The woman not still get peace. Many five babies, mama. Hey. Yes. Different women go they born for them. Ah, now wow. <laughs> I thought it's women who that consigned me. So what are we talking about? Yes, mommy, because we have to advise our sisters that as you are hardworking, be looking for a man. He might not have, we're not talking about wealth. He might not have, but let him be up and doing. Let him be engaged. Let him be doing something. You might even be, you might have money more than the man. But be sure that this man is hardworking. If not, ah, marriage is a long road. It's a very long road. <laughs> it's not something that somebody can retire. So that's why we have to inform some sisters. Say, ah, mommy, also some sisters, is because they are desperate to end the marriage. They say, time is going. Let me just marry him. I will change him. I will change him. I will, I will cope. They will not carry such men. Some also, there are women that like men that like that. Men that will dress, do jericho, apply perfume, apply caro white, press clothes, put uh, That's what Sophia is saying. Also like... Sophia is saying, mommy, some women don't even want their men to work. Why? Yes. They like it like that. Yes, mom. Just let the man be dressing, looking nice for them. No, it's, uh, a, it's a spiritual husband case. Let me come to my ministry. What is it that comes up? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I mean, so I've done come in bed, boldly refused to work, telling the wife, if you are tired, you can go after four children to, to wear. Wow. Now, men who get passport know they work for Jamie. He? Wow. Wow, that's serious. No, I didn't really know much. In as much as I hear little by little. 
Wow. Mommy, in this age, men that are supposed to be lion have turned to cats. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. But that's when I see. It just, you guys just shift my butt into where? I made them for strong for book and barrel. Okay, so the man go get power for night. Now they craze. They know. <laughs> Okay, no, they okay. <laughs> okay, so these women are not guys. <laughs> well, not provoke me. What do want? So I feel like slapping some women. <laughs> and I slap them. This was why they, they don't wear demon. They wear them. What are you talking about? Are you furry? Power wear. <laughs> <laughs> this one is really common. Not really common. Me, I'm surprised to hear that men are working. The people that to come to my city are not to own them. They need deliverance. Mother, not provoke me here. Waiting the one who's waiting that they come and say, ah, the woman will give them the bank and so they will be collecting the money. Eh? How many men are strong or try to get the book and buy? They're not even strong again. Is that? Which can we have this one? This no. <laughs> Let's talk about roots. Oh, but I remove us from there. Ah, mommy, so I'm too lazy. Yo. Lazy for what? Eh? <laughs> mommy, why it was good to balance it is that so that a woman will not have the mentality that it's only you that should be hard working. As a sister. Be hard working, but be looking for a man that is hard working. Boaz was not lazy. Pasenye, I know That's the person. Wait, how is somebody saying, Yeah, something? Then say, Yeah, with the person they talk. Then say, Mona, don't make me use this mouth too. I they help him. Then go say, Men, when they walk, not they strong. Any woman, when say, Man, when they walk, not they strong. Say, Girl, waiting, they look for for the man. That woman gets with her husband. I make her not dissatisfied it because it's not true. natural. What are you talking about? Are you for real? Adam T. the grand. See, Boaz. If you are a woman here, you are listening to me say, you would want your husband not to work, make it the strong for you for bed. You are sick. That's just the truth. Make I tell you now, sit there. Because I'm not fit beer this one. Eh? What's the way they talk? Mommy, they're not well. They're not well. The man is sick. To so say the man go and walk, he can no longer sleep with you. You are sick too. That is why adultery is everywhere, immorality is everywhere. That means you can't even stay. If a man's mind is not on the work, on how to take care of the family, so the man's mind should be, if a woman, oh, I'm helping myself, okay? You enjoy all of you that I enjoy reading comments. Mommy, no go there. Oh. Say me. <laughs> they need an appointment with me, doctor. <laughs> Can you give it name? Dr. Juliana, please give it name. I'm looking for, I didn't want to use diabetes, no. Dr. Juliana, which name? Pastor we need to find name, okay? Heavy sickness, mother. Um, what is such a mass? Is it the man suffering or the woman suffering from something? Because he said if the man walk, he will not have power to, to do something. Okay? So is it the men or the women is having... It, it's the woman, man, if the it's woman like that. Mindocology. <laughs> mindocucus. The woman <laughs> not ecology. The woman is having mindocucus. He needs to be talking to mindocology laboratory. <laughs> Because doctor is not willing. The mind of the woman is being thwarted. There's something happening to the mind. Hey! Is it not when a man hard working that he can't even know how to take care of the wife? A man that is it's not true. working hard, that is not productive, cannot bring something, cannot even think it. How do you say the man will not be active in the other room? Nothing. Now quarrel, quarrel, and fight, fight. Because there is nothing to, the mind is not thinking. Huh? Mommy, the the work go the ways go finish for work. He said, "How can a man agree to be a houseman?" <laughs> he said, "The work go finish ways." Now what's <laughs> he said? I need to start in the comment. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> <did> they preach. <laughs> Ah, 
Test strong for where? Mommy, I know you here well. I don't know. Pastor, can you find where to Ma leave us here? Let's, let's leave them. Okay, let's leave them here. The woman, when they talk like that, she need uh, to consult doctor. Okay, because uh, I don't know what they are saying. You just carry me come now. It was in the olden days that we have housewife. We now have half husband. <laughs> Mr. Chuma, <laughs> who was <laughs> You are giving them, Mr. Chuma, you are giving them. <laughs> <laughs> now you're the, the, the guideline <laughs> to follow. <laughs> the woman is mentally derailed. Okay, she's some. I, say, I think Mr. Chuma is giving them the torch light. He said, We used to have housewife. It's now house husband. <laughs> oh, God, I don't suffer today. Ah, oh, my God. <laughs> Pastor, I said, sir, explain. You don't need another explanation. <laughs> you don't tell me that soon. I want them. Oh, my God. Kai, Kai, Kai. But there's something I want to do. No matter how I'm me go me, me, I will come back to roots, okay? I don't know where the person go come from this perspective, self. Mommy, the man don't lack any till. The women take care of them, even more than their biological children. <laughs> Seriously? Wow. Wow, beautiful. They are like that, Sha. I think uh, low self esteem. The women are scared not to lose the man to another woman. Mm. But they will lose the men. They'll lose the men because how can you carry that kind of burden? It's even a shameful thing. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> but seriously, this is terrible. Wow. But you know, let's go for roots. Okay, this one won't carry me to go. I'm concerned about roots. You see, from the life of Ruth, Pastor Nye, there are so many things I, I notice. There are so many things I notice for in the life of Ruth. Uh, so now they will find Pastor. Hey, women, women go define. The man went fine, make it just clean. You go, they suffer. That is why before you come from work, they carry other women. Yes. See, I'm mumu, very mumu, very local. Local, mentally derailed, metal, local mindset stuff. You see, there is something here in this uh, roots that actually inspired me to write this message from Ruth chapter 3. Okay. He said, Then, now me, her mother in law said unto her, My daughter, shall I not seek rest for thee? That was where you wanted to begin from. That he may be yes. well with thee. And now it's not born as of her kindred. With whose maidens thou wast, behold, he will not barley tonight in the threshing floor. Wash thyself, therefore, anoint thee, put thy raiment upon thee, and get thee down to the floor, but make not thyself known unto the man, until he shall have done eating and drinking, and it shall be when he lie down, that thou shalt mark the place where he shall lie, and thou shalt go in and uncover his feet. And laid thee down, and we tell thee what thou shalt do. And she said unto her, All that thou sayest, I will do. And she went down to the floor, and did according to all that her mother in law bade her. And when Boaz was eating and drunk, and his heart was merry, he went to lie down at the end of the heap of corn. And she came softly, softly, not harshly, and uncovered his feet, and lay her down. And it came to pass at midnight that the man was afraid and turned himself, and behold, the woman lay at his feet. And he said, Who art thou? And she answered, I am Ruth, thy handmaid. Let's go for Ruth the way they, the conversation is. Spray therefore thy skirt over thy handmaid, for thou art a near kinsman. And he said, Blessed be thou of the Lord, my daughter, for thou hast showed more kindness. In the later end, at the beginning, as much as thou followest not young men, uh, thou followest not young men, whether poor or rich. And now, my daughter, fear not. Okay, now, mommy, let's go, let's go. I'll do to thee all that thou require, for all the city of my people doth know that thou art a virtuous woman. So we know. So, Pastor Inye, this man knew that he was a virtuous woman, okay? And yes, now it's true mm -hmm. that I am the near kissman, but how be there is a kissman near than I, nearer than I. Say this night, sorry this night, 
let me feel you. Now me write down Bible, not talk that one. Tally this night, I'm enjoying you. Mommy, welcome, Asia. You see? Say the man, I first day roots. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, now here that they wait for. <laughs> Tarry this night, don't go, don't go. The man didn't shout to, who is this? How dare you? She asked mommy, they read down with love. <laughs> <laughs> How dare they read down with love? I've been bored. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, these people, eh? I was in the devil have patience. Let me finish. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Where am I? I don't know. It's a tarry this night, okay? Mm hmm Timoni, shall be Timoni, that if we perform to the part of the kissman where, well, let it do the kissman part, but if we don't do the part of the kissman today, then we like do the part of a kissman. To thee, as the Lord liveth, lie down here. Ah! Until the morning, organic. Maybe in a cold time. Just call, remove the skirt, the gown, the buluku of the man. And softly, the Bible says, softly. The mother in law have lectured her. Naomi was a guru. And she lay at his feet until morning. Oh my God. She lay there until morning. And she rose up before one could know another. When I went to go boyfriend house those days, she was in the early morning. And I tell them they turn back to the house when nobody don't they see you now. So let it be known. He said, before people rose up, one could know another. And he said, let it be known that a woman, let it not be known, no, that a woman mm. came to the floor. Hmm. Not tell anybody, oh, say, you can't rob me here. Also, he said, bring the veil that thou hast upon thee and hold it. The cloth, when he take cover as a beautiful girl, he brought it as a scarf. And when she had it, he measured six measure of barley. Carried her tight, they give her food. And lay it on her, and she went into the city. And when she came, where was I? It is the sweet. When she came to her mother-in-law, she said, Who are thou, my daughter? And she told her all that the man has done to her, how the man was happy, how the man felt warm, how she was just rubbing the man's leg, how the man was moving the leg and moving the leg and moving the leg and moving the leg. She just just a mother in law because they didn't tell us what happened when blankets cover roots, but it didn't do anything to you, but it was just warm. Okay, they told us it didn't touch her. And she told that man has done to her, and she said, These six measures of barley gave him me, for he said to me, Go not empty unto thy mother in law. Then she says, See, see, my daughter, daughter, you have succeeded. See, see, my daughter, until thou know. How the matter we fall? For the man will not be in rest. Hey, mone mo shina. Hele bo si ano kapone. Eni ano kepala. Si ne keponi ano jina kapola. Ane bo si ano ka. I like this one. For the man, he said, let's wait. Come, you play the game where the book just signaled the battle, but the battle did not write on it. I'm in my ministry now. Where was I? And now let's see that the Bible will begin to dangle and dangle because the book show face and the book return back to Jerusalem. And let's see for the man, the man will not be in rest until he has finished the thing. This day, today, 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 today. He did not go break because you sure. Okay, I want to ask all of you that are just insulting me with all your comments. Mommy, mommy, then do you, mommy, now you, mommy, now you, call of now. Why are you for now saying, Pastor Inye, this man and Ruth and Naomi, this man and Ruth, who tells each other normal local language? Because if I tell you that, say, ah, God forbid I cannot toast it, man, all of them go say, God forbid that thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but that's the truth. Ha! May any of you are not going to toast them out. They'll say, God for people, see me toast them. I said, I go remain single. You go remain single. Eh? Eh? The say, thing is, who toast? packaging and strat is roots, mommy. Ah. Uh, is roots. Uh -huh. But the thing is that she came in a, in, in a, in a modest, uh, packaged mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Modest package form of approach. 
Because even this man there in there, this man feel look Ruth. Ruth tossed him, evil tempted him. Lost. I wanted to say Ruth lost after Boaz because then go the verse. Okay. So who tossed who? Now Ruth tossed this man. Ruth said, yes. "Use this man." Ruth made this man. This man was no longer thinking it. This man. There were other mm -hmm. guests in the feed. There were other guests in the feed. This man was doing money, his business, and making money. But Ruth carried him, mama. He supposed mama told her, "Don't you see the thing?" He said, "He should get up." Look at the lecture here. Look at how this woman lecture Ruth. He said, "Wash yourself, eh? Wash yourself, therefore, anoint thee." In verse 3, okay? It's mid Ruth chapter 3, verse 3. Immediately thought that, that uh, Boaz was going to be doing something. It's okay. Watch yourself. Watch. You know they watch before. Dress. God said, you don't go to this man. Eh? Go to Mommy, man. do you know that there is there is a particular this thing, um, denomination that, that uses this approach, man? Okay, now. Yes, in fact, Anglican Church. When I was Anglican Church, I mean, there's something they call they Girls' Guild. They call they call them girls' guild. The mentality that time I don't know now of girls' guild is preparing mm -hmm. girls for reverence, Anglican reverence to marry. Mm -hmm. So, mom, at that time, if there is something like synod, pastors' meeting, like how they call pastors' meeting or reverence <laughs> meeting, our pastors' wife will tell us to dress wear our white and red, white and green skirt with tie, okay, correct shoe with the barrette. Okay. All of us will dress neat. They will tell us there will be sinners for one week. You will serve the reverence. Okay. This room is for reverence. I just finished seminary school. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Mommy, now only now, I don't know. Now only means the norm because most people ended up as reverence wife. Yes. Because every year in, year out, is girls guilt people that they have been training for years. They will tell us to go and serve. So, but all that for that one week is that uniform we're wearing. That's our white shirt with tie, oh. with correct barret and skirt. We shoot, nice shoot. The skirt will not be too long, it will not be too short. So, and they will teach you walking step. They will teach you how to serve food, how to present the food. That's the the reverence wife. Yes. So for that one week, the people that are the reverence that are married, reverence wife will serve them. Then the reverence are not yet married. We will serve them. So <laughs> he's asking me, Mommy, are you saying we can toast? Yeah. Now they found it in my mouth. Shall I mind the lesson strategy? So now go see him. No, why you are asking me? <laughs> what other people want to hear, you hear. Mama, come here. You know, Mommy, are you saying we can? Look at where we just read. Not to spin. Not to spin. They talk about. Look, I said, go spin the girl. <laughs> From where we see here, now, but I'm not gonna not go to people. you guys can't you just learn and concentrate <laughs> uh, uh, did Ruth go for Percy husband what are we saying don't you know Ruth did not go for Percy's husband and she did not come out at right she did not speak her uh -huh. actions spoke for her uh -huh. Pastor, can you let us them in that area uh -huh. yes. she did not speak young lady you are in a fellowship you are in a church you come for fire conference don't just be falling and your wevon is falling 
as you are falling, package yourself the way you greet, the way you can compose, compose your, how you carry yourself, how you present yourself. When food is being served, like how we usually do fire So, Sadit so so is, is saying, Sadit so is saying, I did guest guide. So, there was okay. somebody who was in that place. Ruth was strategic, but she did not sing. No. Mm -hmm. she, no did, she, she did not even talk to the man. This is position and right position. But she went for the man. She went for the man. There are she went for the man, but she did not see, talk. See, you know, just as you began, Naomi was very sure that Ruth was going to win this man. Naomi was very sure. Naomi was like, oh, he's my kiss man. Naomi didn't talk too much time. He just told Ruth, ah, he's my kiss man, no. Ah, he's one of them. So, yeah, come and make move. So, Naomi was... Was, he said the men of this generation are not the same like generation of Boaz. They go just see you finish. Beside Boaz was an advanced man. There was no way he not go accept Ruth, not go those, not go those guys with pack. It no matter. When at that time, no, no, say, no. Man, Bible go push you. Not lie. That's called expressing yourself. No, we are talking about expression. Please help me tell them. Help me tell them. The thing see? we are talking about composure and expre expression. Yes. I remember Ruth, Ruth did not give her body to Boaz. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She rather she made Boaz to long for, long for that. Confirm. She, Very that confirm. her manner, the way she carried herself and the way she presented herself, made made Boaz desperate. We are not talking about you now. Mm -hmm. uh, asking a man out, then you go mm -hmm. to the man's house, cook a bono soup, cook banga soup, cook a guru soup. <laughs> what is your body? Give the man wash his teeth. We are not talking about that one. The man will see you finish. Because that's what you must know. If a man don't see your skirt, he don't go see you finish. No, that's what you no, must know. No, mommy. Pastor see, this is the essence of the message today, okay? Now, look at the approach that Ruth used. The woman, the mother-in-law told her, be attractive and show mm. concern. She didn't tell her to go and seduce the man or to give herself freely, okay? So that, we, yes. no matter, we are telling to our friends and loved ones, mommy, even if you did, not talk your body language. We talk. We are talking about body language now. Now me trust her. Ruth. How many women today will be sent to sleep on that boy's banquet without her disappointing the sender? Ask me. Ask me. Mm. That's me. Now me trusted Ruth. And Ruth knew what she was. Now me knew who Ruth was. Now me knew that Boaz was free. And so because Ruth was wise enough to know what to do, what now me told Ruth first is that first of all, put on your raiment. He said, wash yourself. Put on the raiment, watch that said, therefore, anoint yourself. Look clean, put on the raiment. Don't go there as you are somebody that is going to glean now. Go there as somebody going to party. Be presentable. Okay? Then get down to the floor. But make not thyself, no, not to the man until he has, has done eating and drinking. Strategy. Strategy. She knew what she was doing. Okay, let's bring out some of the things I wrote down where so many young ladies miss it. First of all, don't forget you talk about self, self, uh, entitlement, okay? Remember, yes. Ruth didn't just appear now. This is not the first place they are meeting. Ruth has already shown good character. Because Boaz came and said, who is this person that is gleaning here? And the reaper said she's been here in the morning, that she hardly stay in the house. That was number one virtue that Boaz marked. Mind yes. you, that man that you think are going to approach today, maybe, for example, just as I say, a church member, a, a, the same fellowship member, the same city member. What are you known for? Because you're, before you start saying, the man will just see to reject you. No. There's something you are known for. Character begins because it is something that leads to this. This is the last part mm. of it. Ruth was already known as a good person. This is what it was known for. The man said, we have heard about your report, how good you are. Mm. And she came to this man feet, even the repass told the man, that this lady will come here in the morning and lastly go. And the man said, okay, allow her. Allow her to, to glean among you. And none of you should touch her. Do you know that other ladies who already start having boyfriend and girlfriend among those reapers? They were already sold their self cheap among those agberos. You see? But this one was a reserved somebody. Different person. And so you could see this man telling him, because it begins from who you are in the afternoon. It begins from what you are not for in the city, you are not for in the church. You are in the church. You have choir members, or usher members, or fellow person. You come to church, squeeze face, come. 
come, go back, squeeze face, go. Like the working place example, person you make example of. Somebody is showing interest to you. And the first thing you are doing, you are believing that he is already liking me. Let me use him and dump. No. So this man already knew Ruth, who she was. So we must first of all know that people are seeing us. It doesn't start with Tosti. Someone will say Tosti, no. No, 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 no. Before we talk about Tosti, man, I get it close to him. That is not how the thing begins. Who are you known for? What are you known for? What is your character? Who are you? Because the man already knew Ruth. The man even called her daughter. The man said, come and let her eat with me. So she already have all the characters the man needed. That's number one. So a single lady must also learn how to greet people softly. There are so many single crazy people. Everything about them is gang, 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 gang. They are not coordinated. They don't have respect. I told the lady, how are you going to get married? When you come to church, you come late. You are the first to go. You don't greet anybody. Nobody play with you. If you are a single lady, you are expected to marry. We are talking about how to approach man in general. When you close, there are single men also who are not married. Not be those that you go greet. You go to the greet married man. They call her daddy, 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 daddy. You go stay with married man for outside, daddy, daddy. The single lady go say, sister P, how are you doing? Sister P. You go say, how are you? Well done. You don't go greet her. Because daddy, the married men, they have already got in puff, puff face. Obi -oko. Abi -obi -oko. They don't already puff. They are okay. They get jeep. The one we suppose never marry. Those who are not there waiting, they want. So the single guy go to the corner. Brother Felix go to ask Sister Pass, how are you doing? He said, well done, well done, well done. He go go stay with uh, a married man. Daddy, daddy, go greet her. Oh, before he go come up for church. No relationship with people who are not married. This one is another. I ask a lady, you go go last. You go first of all come out. You know they greet anybody. You don't know anybody in the church. Who will marry you? In the working place, you don't respect anybody. You don't know anybody. Now, if, if you're a young boy, now the women went already marry, mommy, 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 when go give you rice, when you go greet them. You cannot even know a lady that have good character to watch. No, that's what I want him. No greeting. You see the way Ruth greet Boaz in the feed. The agenda of Ruth from the beginning, if not even for the mother-in-law, Ruth didn't go there to marry Boaz. Neither did Boaz come to her feet to know there will be Ruth. It is the character they both made that attracted Boaz to Ruth. Ruth said, was it thinking it because she was a daughter-in-law? Okay? He said, now that they drive, follow wife, drive front of car. In single lady, we put the effort, they are putting saluting married men. I bet you no woman will be single. Yeah, oh. you see what I'm saying? Did you see what a man is just telling you? In single lady, we put the effort, they are putting saluting married men. To, to put it, he said, I bet you that no woman will be single. I know what I'm saying. They prefer to greet daddy, daddy, daddy. The young boy that is there, they don't want to greet the boy. And it's the young boy that will even tell you, how are you, uh, how is everything going? They won't gist to the young boy. The, many ladies that are not yet married, young guys are looking for their attention like fire. They don't give attention to them. They give attention to daddy that have jeep and mommy that already have car. The table is checking. Okay. So single ladies must greet people that are in the marketplace. Help me see. Marketplace people. Not people that have taken if you see a young boy that is running after mommy, 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 now sugar mommy go they do it, not go marry where. Yes, a young guy should look for a lady that is available in the marketplace, not a woman because he won't give you rice. Ruth greeted Boaz. The way she saluted Boaz, Boaz said, ah, keep her in my feet. Give her good things. Let her eat from you. If where is the only Ruth that was there, there were other maidens there. Why was Ruth different? The way she responded. Her character. If Ruth has not responded like that to Boaz, Boaz will walk away. Ruth will walk away. Before you know it, Ruth will start dating and giving herself to the little, little guys. So the way we do, respect men, especially around you and your department. Most single women don't respect men around them. They, they see them finish. You know that many single ladies, they date from far. They don't date from within. They are them now. They don't value within. No, 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 no. They don't value guys within. They go from far. That is after they package the man company, they say after the man are already potential six baby papas. Now it already be. They don't marry. Women, Lenny, the fact that the person is close to you does not make you to see the person finish. Women know how to see man finish when they greet them. Because this way they greet her every time. The boy is trying to show interest. 
Because if they greet them, it goes see and finish. If it is some women, some rowdy young ladies, it goes disrespect boy and say, this is a year old man. That's how I go film. But already, most ladies, their destiny, who God has sent for them, both men and women always come and say, it's already with you. You see that same choir. He did there for choir. He they play jazz. He not value and I hear guy. This stupid boy, now he come, they tell me, yes, say, he won't marry me. Now, the one when he get high, when he don't marry, finish. So, you must respect people around you. Pastor, I want to pause. I see after him, more. in case you want to say anything for now. Okay, okay mommy. Adding to that, um, respecting people around you. Yeah. We should, uh, a single ladies should note two things. One, that a brother doesn't look like your spec. Because this people usually say, he's not my spec. He's mm. not my spec. Mm. Most ladies' eyes are on men that are too flashy. Mm. Married men that are looking like that, it's a woman that made them to be like that. I tell them, I they tell them. It's a woman that made their husband. So men, they were just, uh, anyhow, it's their women that repack, it's the wife that repackaged them. Mm. So if you walk by sight, you'll miss it. Mm. You might see a brother in the choir, you just look this brother from head to toe. I mm. said, which, 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 uh, what is this now? Mm. Ha ha, God, I've seen something. See the person talking to me. That person <laughs> might be. <laughs> that's exactly how they talk. See, that's their language. God, I don't suffer. See the person when they talk to me. But I get size. Ha ha, God, if nobody say you don't want to answer me. Ha ha, God. What did I do when he calls this thing? I've seen something. Yes. Continue. So they will miss. Another thing, mommy, is that some of this. Uh, 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 why it's good also to be respect, respectful with people around you that he might not even be the best, the brother in church. What if it's his friend outside? What if it's his brother that outside? Yes. But already you're already showing character that is that that doesn't want it. What if? So that's why we should leave. And when mommy just read in that route, who has said something? He said, and you did not go after young men, whether mm -hmm. poor or rich. Mm -hmm. Ruth was not promiscuous. Mm -hmm. If she was wayward, no matter the strategic packaging she would use and toast post, for okay. as far as could have run. Okay. If in your city they know that you are one one month, one man, when you not meet a serious person, the serious person will not take you serious. People will come and tell so, the person. Ah, because your lifestyle, what is your lifestyle saying? People are seeing you finish because every time you are in the club, every time even the thing is you see ladies they will go they will go to maybe restaurants they are smoking shisha tomorrow you want to go come and strate strategically talk mm. to a brother that is serious it will not work so people are seeing you finish also because of the way the way you carry yourself is the way people address you so character is the beauty of a woman you might be looking so beautiful but if you don't have character it's like putting gold in the nose of a, a pig it's nonsense so that character, some ladies don't know how to talk. You are in the bus, you are screaming as if you are in men market. Mm. You are in the men market. You are talking anyhow. Talking, that's talking anyhow. You are a young girl. In the morning, you are wearing your net with shade on your face, going to McDonald's, screaming as if you are talking to the whole street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's only Agbel or men that will go for that. Yeah. So compose yourself. Who has, from what uh, when we read in chapter 3, we saw that he took note of Ruth's character. He already took note of Ruth's character. And Ruth was respectful. Not only to men, no. Because if you are looking for husband and you are not only respectful to men, and you are not respectful to women, you are not respectful to your pastor's wife, the man is also watching. Mm. If your pastor's wife calls you, her sister, sister uh, Annabelle, you look, I have, I have from eight to two. Mm. The man is also watching. Mm. Or you are warning your, your pastor, or you are warning the wife, the man is also watching. Yes. In boss, they are exchanging words. I've seen girls exchange words in boss. Men will be telling them, ah, sister, ah, may you not touch me. I beg. It's, the man is telling you, ah, sister, calm down, leave them. Exactly. They are screaming, shouting. It's even, mommy, you did it in, I think I have to repost it, uh, or that drama you did. With... Sister Patience. <laughs> yeah, yes, ma yes, mommy. This is sister up on the brother was telling her, ah, you don't do, sorry. Mm. She was very angry. Sister Patience. It's sister Patience. Sister Patience. Mm. I'll repost it uh, in Body for Christ. Mm. So when even Pastor vouched for her mm. that ah it's true. this one this one, and this one will make it. Yeah, a a very good wife. wife. And the person the pastor was introducing her for was the same person she met. 
That's yes, when, the, when the guy say, is pastor, is it this, this one? This is the patient's... <laughs> The, it was this week, Sister Peace was asking me about that movie. I said, Sister Patience, Sister Patience, Pastor, is it the person, is it the patient you'll be telling me about? Say, this very one. Ah, Sister Sophia be. said, na fighting ground, my husband for Simeon. Not everybody will have that, uh, will I say, love it's one or in favor hundred. or grace. It's one in hundred. It's one in hundred. Yeah, Not one everyone in hundred. will have it. Not it's everyone. one in hundred. One in hundred. It's divine. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not part of it. It's, it's, it's one in hundred, it's divine. So it's not, you know, Pastor Inye, you, that was where my number four, number, number three, number four come from. We talk about spec. Somebody is saying spec, spec, spec. Okay, really, who is a woman spec? Every one of you. Who is supposed to be a woman spec? Because we know that every man is not the same. Every woman is not the same. Different nature, Mommy, different some stature. sisters have greedy eyes. The aspect is tall, dark, and tall, dark, and handsome. The man must must be very tall. The man will be handsome. The man knows how to dress very well. That's their their expectation is too high. But okay, they don't if, know that they can make out that thing for Pastor the man. If many women are in that category, many sisters are tall, dark, and handsome. Tall, dark, and handsome. Tall, dark, and handsome. Then what happened to the brief moderate? Because tall, dark, and handsome, you may not see how many. If you see it, fifty. Maybe one and two. And when you say handsome, now when person they eat well, get rest of mine. I hear that will be your coming buff buff. So, talk that can handsome. Talk that can handsome, and no wonder Bible say five women shall lay hold of one man's <laughs> get up in the tree. If, if, for example, three women are here and they have, they need talk that can handsome. So, how many talk that? They're not going to fear. So, can't go add God fearing. They just they talk that one, or they don't need God fearing. They just use that one, okay? No. Uh -huh. So if all of them are really saying, if many women are saying tall, dark, and handsome, because I don't know how many, how many are tall, dark, and handsome, because so that means the women are not going to remarry. He said, spec differs. Uh -huh. He said, if you marry spec, finish later, reality of spec will dawn on you. My husband friend was having a girlfriend, also talking to me that he loved me so much. I told him to go and tell our pastor then, and he refused to go, and he forgot about talking to me, and later. He did blessing of marriage with his girlfriend. He invited my husband. We met at CFD and get married. Same person was the person my husband asked about me. And he told my husband, I'm very good. Imagine if I did not respect myself. Thank you. Did you hear? That is it. Did you say that? The man that was even talking to her that she didn't agree with was the friend of the husband. And they met that man married blessing. And OK, me, I'm not going to marry Turu. Turula. Maybe Turula. Try not to me. Let me know. So the, the, if we say tall, dark, and handsome, no, I don't say some not tall, fair. Many not even want dark. Many when they use people, they, they like guys when they use caro white, well, caro white. Yes. Ah, now fair, many pass. The guy, the guy go yellow. So even if the guy use all money, some of my people like yellow well, well. Ah, the guy go talk, he go yellow. Even if not 20 women, they rush and no problem. Provided make it just tall, make it yellow. Okay? Uh-huh. So if people are on that category, because... Do we not say that because Bible did not give us the description of uh, Boaz? <laughs> or Ruth was not having a spec. That's what I'm saying. Because to some people now, they could get to if we say that uh, uh, Boaz was already an advanced man. Okay? Bible did not say that Boaz had a wife before wanting, wanting. Maybe I should have gone to Google and search it. But from where we are reading now, the didn't, Bible didn't mention anything about Boaz and. No. Uh, wife and i know that in those days you can even have more than one wife or so but bible did not mention anything about boys and women because if there was even women in that house ruth could not have been able to play that role of coming under this skirt you see so it's possible that boaz was not having wife so is it that ruth was not selective that uh, or maybe boaz was already a man that was rejected that make so what was ruth spec or as she, young believer don't we supposed to really have our choice. Someone told me, I know what I want. It's what God will give me in a lie. I see the thing on work. Okay? Uh -huh. do, do we have the mindset that what we want is what God will give us or spec? That's what I want to know if, about. If, mommy, if what we, first of all, Ruth allowed herself to be led. She was led. Uh, she was led. By God, by who led her? 
by our mother-in-law, but now as believers, we are led by the spirit of so God. So it is the mother-in-law. It's God that let's be that it was God or culture that led the mother-in-law. Yeah, yeah yes, because from the lineage of Jesus, what happened to Ruth? It shows that God was talking to the mother-in-law. Okay. Yes, uh -huh. ma'am. So she was led. So uh -huh. She allowed herself to be led. The thing, some people, mommy, I've heard people say that, ah, God forbid, God can never give me what I don't want. Yes. But yes. if what you want is not in alignment with his will, he will not give it to you. You want a man that is very fair, very uh, distant, but God has seen the end. He's the one that knows the end from the beginning. I know that it will not work. He will not want to give it to you. So, but he will give you somebody that when you marry that person, he will make out that thing you want from the person. Mm -hmm. I've, I've seen men make out what they want to the woman in their wife. Yes. When they married their wife, their wife was not what maybe they say, okay, but they made out what they wanted in a woman in that wife and i've seen women make out what they want in a man yes sure. make out what they want in a man from a yeah. man yes mommy do you know that i've uh, 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 this is uh, when i was in nigeria there's a barrister that and uh, when this thing was happening she was in her late 30s she did not her own spec is that you must your english must be queen's english that was her spec a Aye. believer she did not marry till two years ago. She was already forty-eight when she married. Do you know why she? Do you know why she she left the believer that wanted to marry her? When they were preparing for their um, uh, introduction, they went to market to buy something. So the man now she was pricing onions. So the man now said in the ego, the man asked the person selling the onions, "How much is this yabas?" She told she called off the wedding. She said, "Ha! Huh, I can't marry a man that is using such word. Why should we be saying yabas?" That the standard. So her spec was you your English must be top notch. That's all. That's all. Wonderful. Wonderful. She finally got her spec. The person she married is selling clothes in the the market now. Because just... she married at the age of 48. So she now had to buy. Even the person that said the is a barrister. But because he, he she said that the man was too emotic for her. He oh. left that man almost 15 years ago. Now oh. he has married. She has married a, a man selling clothes in the oh. market. So because she, she had to now set so because time is going. No, it's not. She actually got her spec. The real mind. That is. This is her spec. Every other one should have been too good for her. She was not the spec of others. The mindset is this local spec. See, most women who do who operate like this, this is always the end. This this always yes. saying this message now. This always, you know, there was a young actress that married some years ago. Come and see fighting on social media. People curse her, curse her mother, that she married age of uh, only God no. Today now nah, people are celebrating her. <laughs> anywhere she do go now, nah, the picture now. Nah. Anywhere she do go now, nah, she picture now. Nah. She's not even the wife of a senator. So young mothers, I believe mothers are not telling their young daughter, did you see her? Did you see her? <laughs> You see her. See social media some years ago. See fights. See war. Okay? And of, of, of not so long, I saw her wrote something on social media. And they said, if this man was a, a, a mechanic, will you marry her? He said, what would have taken me to mechanic? You see? Uh -huh. She's a billionaire wife. Okay? Yes. Uh -huh. One of the former... Uh, uh, Beautiful lady, we call Lady Bianca. We are still growing up, we are hearing those stories. Eh, in an area age. And then they find, you know, how this lady is now. I could put my mouth on there. They say, they find yellow, beautiful. Eh, you know, some say they are break, come, they okay. They were thinking about their future. Now, the way yes. they say, in all my time, in all my respect, in all my time, in all look take away, in all look presentable. He not look, you don't have six pack. He not six pack. Okay. Who even the cat six pack now? When you eat food, eat food. Your six pack turn to be belly. Who the six? When I say they can't six pack, who they can't six pack? No way. Which can six pack? Where who six pack? Six pack now children they get. How many men you see for street when get six pack? Where he pack go? Without this pack, they damn a pure. Where they go load load belly or make pork? You they use six pack? Six pack is like saying that the, the woman breast stand. If he breastfeed finish, he not go come down. Now, so six pack be now. When the man don't eat, he don't walk, walk, walk. He waits, don't bear. If you see man, when you see them maintain six pack, I pity your stomach and everything you are laboring for. Because a normal man can never. He said, This man, senior, with 26 years. Now, 26 years, 
Nai Baba Oju, three senior sister Bian, 26. The other one self reached 40 something. No one in yes. the rain now. Uh -huh. The actress own, that one reached 40 something to 50. She has that one home, still there. Anytime that lady take picture now, they go to follow her. Pia, 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 pia. Some years ago, they cost him, mama, cost the generation, cost everything. The lady come, he don't burn one, he don't burn two. If they, if they do fine, see a standard, they come fine. Now, fine guys, not they. So, first, you go take now, say, because Boaz was a fan, now he make Ruth. See, Ruth now, beautiful woman, go be. So, beauty in her brain, beauty in her sense, beauty in her future. Eh? You know, got money, sorry. You don't know, got money, you don't know, go to school, you don't know, get level. You see, my way is still they okay. Get, now they use fear of God these days. Normally, God go use it, if not fear of God. Not be young lady go for David. David did not touch her. When David was uh. Uh, feeling that David's case, I didn't want to talk about it. I wonder why they feel saying a woman that will give her a one because women were too much around her. <laughs> Anytime I talk about David, I don't know why. After David, don't they go? You know, can they feel anything? I they bring fine again. Say, go bring fine veggie, come make it a fee. Because David know how to feel. Even in war front, he was still feeling Bathsheba. I'm sorry, I'm just saying what Bible say. So that young girl, that young veggie still came for David. A married old man. You know, if he do a girl, he just they rub him. Go just rub David's leg. David go still here with him, they talk. He go still rub it. He said, you know, David was anointed and holy man of God. He go still rub his leg. He go still say, hey. Uh, Mommy Solomon, what did you say just now? They need that, that get rub. Ruth must be too beautiful and wear packet because her baby has not come out. Too beautiful. You know, those, the ladies of those, the Bible tell you, they were women of beautiful countenance. Even Abigail. I see, we are coming to talk the case of Abigail, whether Abigail did well after calling Nabam fool. And I told David, remember me. Why don't I be getting used to mouth skin up? He said, may your enemy be at this number. I uh, may God judge your enemy. So women in the Bible, may God judge this your, may God judge this my husband. May your enemy be as full as number. Please, when you, I know that God will judge your enemy, you will become king. When you become king, please come for me. He used mouth, tell David down. Uh, the weak, as, as number they go, David sent message. They say, jump, enter the house. Carry me, they go my husband's house. You see, as women were very smart. Eh? <laughs> so many women now, they have all the opportunity. Eh? Mommy, fear of God is good, but without vision, it's a waiting for. Now we talk now. Some people now they follow vision, but now they follow fine man. He used that yeah. attack. He did I see you, you take. Just as you said, if, if Ruth was not was a rebellious child, we know what. How did Naomi just cook it? You know, after Naomi hey. cook it, what I love about Naomi, when, when Naomi tell him, don't worry, today not go finish, I know. The man go go find you. Do you know if you go to chapter four, they never break, that man go to the center of the, of the, the mess, the, where they stay in the center. The man went and sit there, waiting for King Smith to come. Then no, that man, as Ruth leave that my house, ah yeah, the message was getting to be long, but I want to close. See, don't open the book on time. No. Ruth did not open book. He robbed him. By the time he robbed the man, the man was the man. Ruth told now he told. He said this man. He said then she said, "Since T, my daughter, come down until thou know the matter mm. for for the man will not be in rest until I finish the thing today, that very day." That very day. That very day. So we are not saying go and toast the man according to Pastor Nye by cooking up bolo. You cook this one. The man be telling you, make we do now. Man, when he they tell you every day, come make we do tomorrow. He never marry you, he's not winning. Just know it that it will delay you until you say no longer I love you. It's true. Yes. Your character should be stronger than your book. You know, many women think that the thing to cast the person is just your your body. Mm. This is so many people, many women get heart broken. Your character is stronger than anything you think you can offer. Your character will make the man think about you. You know, that one, give me an example of the young, uh, 
The young uh, worshiper that is about to marry now, the worshiper that uh, Moses, please, when he said yes, a good name. I'm surprised that he's already, he already picking pick date of marriage. Hmm. Why did he pick date of marriage? Because Ruth touched her, Ruth not let him do. And he know what ah. to do. You see? Yes. If they move on, if they move on, once the book is beautiful, the battle will be willing to write. But once the book already give access to the battle to write, the battle is not in haste anymore. If you can pick a book in the library, why pay? Why pay? It's in the library for free. Read it and read it and read it again. Then why if pay? a woman is already giving a man all wife wifely responsibility, uh -huh. the man will not want to do anything again. Okay, now. You are already cooking. Yes, yes, you are already cooking. The man is already feeling like a husband when he has not paid one, one cent on your head. Mm -hmm. The man will not be in a haste to okay, do anything now. again. Okay, now. So those things are very important. Over selection is not good. Let God's will be done. That person you are calling old person, young person, is not actually old and young. Depends on how mm. God sends you, how you handle the person. Okay, there are people that marry young men. The, by the time the women finish the men, they may be like dead body. You will be imagining this might be like say don't plug sister. But there are the ones that they have peace of mind. Bible says through a warish woman, a man is brought to a pieces of bread. If there's no peace of mind, the man will become like a useless. No, 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 you don't finish. Vice and versa, or vice versa. But if there is a peace of mind, that man you are calling old man, that man that they were quarreling, the one that married artist. If he say he want to marry, all of them will rush him. It's true. All of them. But that time they were angry. So you should allow the will of God. This attitude of God will give me what I want. God will. Yes, God wants to give you what He wants for you, not just mm. what He wants. So women, especially single ones, maybe single and expecting, work on your character, not on your bonbon. -bon. This is giving baby mamas your body, your body. Many women do this every day. Break my heart. It break my heart. Your body, giving your body no. Your body is the last. Give your character. Give good attitude. Be zealous. Don't be jobless. Say now, Tom, every time the guy wants to call you, 2 a.m., he call you. Eh? 2 a.m., he call you. If the guy knows they work, you say they hustle. If they hustle, they do what? 2 a.m., he can ring you anytime. 3 a.m., he can call you. 5 a.m., he can call you. And you think that is, is the multi to plenty of call that is love. It's molesting you. A serious guy will not call you every time. I have stayed in the line for three hours in the night. And you are happy that he really love you. Love is not in speech. Young women, single women, you must understand that love, love, love is not in the multitude abundance of the West, you are told. It is the reality of character and care. In short, the guy, she won't be discussing vision with you. Because you two doesn't want to marry a lazy person. And so you must overcome laziness and not just stay pancake. After you rob, I find that is where the sense of entitlement come. I find I'm the best. You are looking at self as yes. the most beautiful. That is why the whole people in the church, the people times me, the guy is looking for. How come with everything you feel after using you dump you? Huh? How come at after using you he just dump you? How come? Because that is not what he really wants. But when you are very busy, either you are working, you are studying, or you are doing business, when he sees you are busy. That is what he's looking for. You are not lazy like Ruth, and you respect people, respect people. Especially respect men, whether they are young men or so, respect men, and make yourself available, make yourself available. You don't go and hide yourself, run away from where people are, because somebody will introduce you. As many people that married, I was talking to this person on phone, the sister was there, and the brother was there. Can I greet your sister? How are you? What do you do? Wow, I love that voice. What do you do? I'm studying, or I'm doing business, or whatever. What do you do? Okay, can we talk next time? The way we talk softly, not to just talk, you say, go straight to the point. What do you want to tell me? Make you tell me, I don't get time, when man, they waste too. You see all those nonsense talk. Now, the fact that a guy approached you doesn't mean he just wants to marry you. He wants to know you first. Okay, speak like somebody that, somebody just call you, hello. Yes, and uh, waiting. Every, you called me yesterday, you still call me, waiting, what tell me? What are you talking about? How are you doing? Well, I'm fine, how are you doing? God bless you. Okay, what do you do? I do this, I do that. Okay, awesome. Okay, we'll keep talking. Okay, keep you posted. Finish. We can still talk again with gist. We can still talk again with grit. Let me say you just call, you say you felt out to me yesterday. Okay, go straight to the point. I don't have time to waste. Many guys have wasted my time. No, you are not responsible. You see many men saying that the girls sounded to desperate. 
the girl sounded too desperate. You said, when we are telling you, you'll be telling us, eh, because age not there now, I not get, I not get away small picking till they play. Now you first give yourself to small picking till play. So don't waste it now. Forget about the time that is past. Don't use your past to spoil today. Most relationships come by greeting. It come by just knowing each other. Men that have experienced things in life will not just come to you and start saying, hello, if man just tell you, hello, God bless you. How are you doing? Fine. Somebody, I just want to marry you now. Who tell you that? You know why I say want to marry you now? He want to start to do. Ah, uh, it's only one case you will see that. I just want to marry you now. You know, I told the lady one time ago, see that lady was from UK. When we were doing this subject before. He said they went out. And I taught, I teach them uh, that as they just went out, the way the man, the man was lungy to meet her. Lungy to meet her. Lungy to meet her. After a while, they finally met. And she now coming that the way the lady, just, the man just, just behaved, just left. He don't understand the way the man just, the man just, okay, 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 we'll be talking, we'll be talking. I said, what did you tell him on your first meeting? What did you tell him? He said, it is what you told him. He asked you questions that you were not sensitive to answer. If you go to meet a man for first time, what questions are you going to ask you? Tell me about yourself. You're going to talk about your grandmother. And your sister, I met children, your mama, but what's it concerned that man? So, Many people are spoiled like this. Begging. So, we enter stylish begging. Ha, my parents have not even paid their house rent. My brother <laughs> never paid house rent. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh God, oh God, oh God. Even I say you get chemical for your mouth. <laughs> Imagine. And you are not ashamed. The man will not give you 50 euro. So what do you think? You so, he will so ask you for bed now. That's what somebody, <laughs> that's what he's asking me. Now, mommy, what about when a guy approach you and the first thing, he should I come and pass the night in your house? You see, I'll not be waiting yeah. at the door just now. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Wait, which discussion? Because there was nothing to discuss. There was nothing to discuss. Mm. I told the lady, so when he now asks you, you now begins to say, uh, my mother has three guests, uh, my sister has this, my brother wants, uh, I'm very careful because marriage doesn't really favor us. We are very, you are not talking. You are not making sense. You are not making sense. My mother gave birth to three of us. Uh, my father, my father didn't do my mother well. That's why I'm taking care to know where we take because the first man my mother met was not good for her at all. That's when you meet me taking my time. I don't want mother to break my heart the way they break my mother's heart. Village guests in Europe. What are you saying? It's not needed. And someone say, should I not have the truth? That is not truth. That is foolishness. You were not asked that question at all. Can we know ourselves? Yes, how you do? Okay. I, I work. Simple. What do you do? I work in social and so place. Or I'm schooling. Or I'm looking for a job. Simple. Huh? Come and see me in my house now, then. Yes. Simple. I'm looking for jobs. Okay, are you working? Wow. I will work. I'm trying. If you ask him more, say, ah, guy, you they ask question. You use laugh. Guy, you they ask question. We'll get to know about that. What about you? You switch. If the guy says, now, village guy, ah, babe, ah, babe, woman, no, they took me, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Now, Bero is, babe, <laughs> woman, they take me do your year. Oh. Uh, if, you, if I go marry you, go just cooperate, eh? go respect my mother. That's not village, man. Go respect my mother. Eh? Woman, not they tie me down. Eh? I go for marry you, but you have to be a good girl. Eh? Because I get friends. I be person when they, oh. I get level, so not be the one way go just tell me I'm not going anywhere. Oh. These are local. These are. You just look at the guy. That's why I say, get what you are doing. See, Pastor Nye, you don't need to be very educated. Once you get what you are busy doing, that work at all, that working every day going to work or going to school has already conditioned you with a good life and a good pattern, and it already directs you. That is what I'm saying. Eh? That's what I'm saying. You just fall out. That is why you just said just now, there are categories of people that will not even talk to you. When they come around you, they come around you with respect. Because they know you are a responsible person. You know what you are doing. You are not a fool. 
It is from the words of your mouth that we know the extent. Not be everybody going to talk to you. You know, see, there are people around you said that we call you, ah, mama, mama, mama. They respect you because they know. Not because you are proud, but because there is something. There is yes. something they see in you. And they can even recommend you to their senior brother or to their big guy and say, this person will date the same area. I can't delay the, the mama two day old. I fear not let me near her, if not my level. Now, they, they are the one that will say it. If not my level, guy, you know, say you get level in my elder brother and I go reach him. Because of your comportment. When those people go out together, they will take coffee, they go. Not be no, make come carry you go out. As they carry you go out, you eat, 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 eat. Even other, other two small stars, three small stars. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you going far? Why must you ask most? <laughs> You must see the drink one bottle. You are taking. Oh, you took the go high. Why? You go? Why can't you be simple? Why small stouts? Small stouts. <laughs> oh God! To show to the man that you know what's in there, be say so you are bolo bolo. Yes, eh. <laughs> Oh. Some people will say, ah, I'll be acting good guy, good guy, so they pay. Maybe speak to the man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, I want to run. <laughs> but compartment, okay? That's. <laughs> I'll be acting good guy, good guy, no, they take. Just go straight to the point. Don't waste my time. What did they take me for? You want to marry? I'll be, you don't want to marry. <laughs> See, you can't, you can't, you can't marry like that. You can't get a, the fact that something has happened to you does not make you to, as I always say it, uh, the fact that something has, so whatever that has happened to you should not condition you to be behaving wrongly. That's the truth, okay? Yes. When well, I said the man is drinking water and you order a bottle of wine. Yes, no. See, come, now with those days, say, if you say you want to go out, eat finish for house, fool your belly. Seriously, eh? too many of us need to fool your belly. You know, after all, many marriages in Europe serve, not until I go out, go out. Many things, not even, yeah. it's not in Africa where you have friendship, grow up together, classic, go out, stop. Because normally, you have to eat first. Your stomach will be filled. So that when you go there, you don't go waste time. You eat little. Because this, your comportment have a lot to do. That is why now who they marry this, they marry this, who they marry this. High standard people will still disagree not to marry. It's already that massive for that lady. The, the woman quality. Now, what you see for his side be that? Yes. He said, uh, yeah, among gods, you know, just you, you go marry. Among gods, you quarrel. Now, so, so, quarrel. So, so, he said, among gods, in which kind of shakar. He said, not just you, you go marry. Among gods, now, now, the thing be. Mommy, how? Which one be? How? Tell me, make I tell you. Let's round up. One or two questions. In case I want to say, I say, make that toast, man. But so, yeah, let's give them one or two questions before we round up uh, in five minutes. This one, I say, mommy, how? Mommy, go out. Mommy, go out there here. Oh. Uh, I don't say day here. I don't say not day. I say it's not much. Okay. Yes. All one right. or two questions for my guest minister before she goes. <laughs> okay. Who is there? Let's go. So that you will not say they did not allow me to ask question. It's all good get help. Okay. Those are the people of before. Okay. Yes. If you go to that level. I pray nobody should go to that level because uh, if you do a good get help, you are going to marry a bad boy. And so once you marry a bad boy, it's finished. It's totally finished. So if we don't have a question, okay, let's give contribution while we round up. Uh, say finally. Okay. Mommy, I, I'm the here now, the here now. So finally, our take. Remember when we are saying women is vice versa. In some as yeah. as aspects, it's relating to men also, but in some aspects, it's not, okay? So let's reflect. Ruth was a, a, a very nice, hardworking lady. So be hardworking. Uh, Ruth was very respectful and appreciative. First time of meeting boys. You know that first time matters a lot. Mm -hmm. There are first yes. time that people never forget in life. Hey, Jesus. That is why, see, we need to condition our life to live well and live with joy because first time, apart from marriage, even work, even promotion, even many things, you see this first time, first time. If person meets you first time and meets you quarterly, meets you first time and meets you doing something wrong, that 
first time approach may be a stigma forever. You may be a very good person, you will provoke, and uh, somebody that should not just walk in, just walk in, and just have that mindset that you are like that. In short, it's a prayer point that will not misbehave when in the presence of the people we should not. That's what we must guide ourselves always. You will be able to say so that you do, you, maybe you are welcoming angels on our way. So please, first time, because the first approach between Ruth and Boaz struck something very important. The way she behaved, uh, the reports to, uh, concerning her, how she's so hardworking, and the way she lied down and greet Boaz. That first approach was already a mark in the heart of Boaz. So in case of her, this writer said she followed the man, she, she went to somebody's marriage and saw the man she now married, okay? Okay, questions. Let's pick the question for five minutes. Mommy, my question is, can someone be with a man for 10 years without marriage, marry him, and they have children together and living together as well? People are living like that. Question, is it advisable for a single lady live with a man not married to? I think almost almost the same question. Somebody, if it's whether someone can be with someone, uh, we, we said it here several times those years. If you are, most people make this mistake, okay? And uh, you already live with a man and you have children together. Convince the man to pay bright price. That's just the truth. You already live with the man, you have children with the man. Convince the man to pay bright price. Those days, we do tell people to convince their parents also to be lenient with not saying, come and do big marriage, because so many men will always say, I want to marry, but I don't have money for it. And we told many people here, yeah, don't say, most people met themselves in that situation because they were thinking, when we go to Nigeria together, when we go to Nigeria together, you don't need to go to Nigeria together. Just tell them to go and pay bride price so that you can have honor and be legal according to the scripture. Okay? So it's very possible. Many people have met themselves in that shoe. Once you are in that shoe, you and the man should labor together because you already have children. You already like husband and wife. So that's how Bible even says, if you, if you break into the woman, wife of your youth, go and pay, do the right thing. Okay? So just go and pay. Tell the man to go and pay. If he make you to hustle with the man for that bride price, speak to your family to let it be. Just go and pay the bride price. Pastor, is that what you have for that? No? Yes, mommy, that's it. Mommy. Okay, so the other question, is it a vessel for a single lady live with a man no married to? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Live with a man not married to is not advisable because your problem is that if you are living with a man you are not married to, the man can easily drop you. That's the problem. That's the problem. The man can wake up one day and say, we are not married now. You know now. That's, the, that's where the lady lose. He can wake up tomorrow and see another girl and you have been with him for 10 years with children. He go and marry that woman. That woman is the first wife. But that's the problem. That's the problem. So you are there, you say, ah, I'm already married. The man is telling you, don't worry, you are already married. Tell the man, let's use my Brazilian hair money. Let's go and pay bride price. Because it is when you, the bride price is paid that you are sure that you are actually married. If not, if you say, okay, it doesn't matter. It will matter one day or when a third party comes into that picture. Once a third party comes, it will not tell you that I, I never knew you. Uh, did I marry you? If that is when you will not like, need to consider why I never married you. I never really love you. Your character was really never satisfactory. That is why I never married you. So it's good to marry. Okay? He said, but want to sleep. If my bring another girl, your pastor will marry them. Yes, when the man bring another girl and say, I found my wife, we the pastor will marry them because that's the one he paid bride price for. But that's the truth. Okay? He said, but want to pass the night in my house. Okay, maybe somebody say a man wants to pass a night in your house. If, you, if, this is, if you have followed the teaching we teach today, if a man doesn't marry you, he doesn't have right over you. Talk less of coming to. We are dealing with the one that did it in ignorance self, that they were already living together, having children, because many of them were postponing today, tomorrow, today, tomorrow, today, tomorrow. That is how they end up there. But if you have not even entered, mommy, first wife, hmm. But if you have not even entered, don't even allow a man to come and have access to your body. The role that Ruth, Naomi and Ruth played was to make the man come and marry. The man married the, Mary had the next day. Okay? Pastor, maybe there's something you are dropping so we can go. Randolph, finally, the Ruth, the single ladies, the expect okay, Parents, the, teach your children this. Yes. Yeah. The, 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 in summary, mommy, the, the, the only thing I have to say is that 
parents also we have a, a big role to play. We see that uh, uh, Naomi stood as a mother for him to guide yeah. her, to direct her, to instruct her, and she did not instruct her into destruction. Uh -uh. So I pray that this the Lord and the way that ended well. So we parents we have uh, a, a lot of role to play. Then single lady respect is very very important making yourself uh, presentable being strategic uh, uh, that you're a believer and you're always found frowning face it's not a sign of spirituality your face is always tight you're always with wrap around and total neck hmm. make yourself presentable. you're a young girl very smart dress neat smell nice and brother that we're talking that women should not aspect also mean that you should brush your teeth look nice look okay don't look like your situation or circumstance smell nice you okay be presentable so and uh, and finally this entitlement mentality a girl a lady that is active hard working doesn't demand much it's not expecting that the world should revolve around her and lady you don't make yourself because if you are busy you will not be too available it's when you're not busy the man will call you 1 p.m you are picking phone 5 p.m you are picking phone 2 a.m. You are picking for 3 a.m. You are picking for you are too available for the man. Hmm. You are too available, and tomorrow he will meet a woman that is busy. He will end up marrying that person because that woman is making him to imagine. It's, it's like that's what happened to Bose. Yeah. They left Bose imagination, so he was in a haste to do things. So please, sisters, let's not be too available. Work on a, let's work on our character because no matter the beauty, no matter the uh, uh, packaging and strategic. Uh, measure if your character is a role no man wants to marry a woman that doesn't have character even if even if even if a man doesn't have character he wants to marry a woman that has character yes. so let's work on ourselves don't say that you're a believer but but the way you talk to men the way you, are, you handle uh, uh, act to people around you is zero so let's work on our character and trusting god that the lord will perfect the rest just as it is life of good and poor as Amen. Wonderful. Look nice. Look cool. Talk softly. Don't quarrel. Especially when you come in the midst of congregation in a union meeting. Walking calm. Sit calm. Even if you are not a single person, for someone to commit good things. You see, even to choose leadership, okay? Yeah, even to choose leadership, you see that it's not everybody you put in place of leader. When they see you are calm, your head is calm, you dress nice, okay? I told the lady, I said, the way you look, I man want to marry like this. What's going be the problem? You are not okay. You have to look okay because your mind shows, your dressing shows your mind, okay? So you cannot be doing so-so title neck, they know they see your neck, you know, even not to show your face, not the shine. Uh, we don't mean say you will go use them. You don't need millions. Everything must be moderate. Your face will always they squeeze. Nothing they attract. You they just they carry verse. Go just they carry verse. Some ladies go just carry verse. If you don't time this time, they go mentality go come make you the verse. Time not they go anywhere. Okay. After all, root time be they go, but you don't see her like that. You know how many years she stayed with the mother-in-law. There was no even hope. But she came with that atmosphere. The man saw something. She was not angry walking. She was just walking morning to evening. She was okay. There are people that are even walking this world, Pastor Nye. They walk from morning to night. As you know now, every day to sun, sun, the Sunday, they are not available. Some of you, when God, they walk a day, day job. They stay there every day. Come out of that walk. Yeah. Before I forget, some of you that are walking this care walk that you stay there. I want, I they want to marry you. Thank God I did not forget this one. I thought, lady, I think it was my sweetheart. Who walked that walk small that time? Oh, oh. Bless us, I thought I walk and small. I said, come on, try that walk. Come out of that old village house. Don't walk the walk that they will not allow you to come to church on Sunday. They will not allow you to go to Saturday events. Okay? You go just, go just go. You just go for walk. Now, the day you want marry. Very wicked work. You just go for a walk on Monday. You go stay there Monday, Tuesday. Who go come toast you? Who go toast you? Which man go approach you? Who go come marry you? Join choir. Join usher. Join waiting. Now waiting man see go make and find. You go there. You must do choir. You must do usher. And there must be department when you go there. When they go for see, you not go showcase yourself. Root mother in law told Ruth, don't go like person when they go farm today.
clean up. Bath, perfume yourself. And go to Boaz. So in case you are doing a day-day work and a day-one work, you know, as I tell put on, all those work you'll be doing, you will never come out. Week days, week in, you are there. You're not going to marry. So make you not say, I'll not tell you that one. Okay? Please, that one is very important. Then character is non negotiable. Even both men, some men don't go see you marry then. There are so many men, good women will never marry because they are traditional <laughs> rulers. Man never, woman never marry. They toast and they tell and say, Ah, your father tell you, your mama. Say, I know they take nonsense. So you see why I just did. I, don't know. I never want marry because I don't want any woman when they respect. My father, my mother respects my father. You must have to respect me. Better woman will never marry such a man. That's why you say you are looking for a woman for 20 years. You don't see because you are not a marriable man. You can't be married, okay? So we must balance this thing because Ruth was okay. Boaz himself was a very cool-headed, nice man. On that, just the one, he told Ruth, come and eat from my pot, okay? So all this arrogant mentality, that is so many people end up in a wrong marriage. This man showed it that is an arrogant man. This guest he enter. Even during boyfriend and girlfriend relationship courtship, it was obvious that this man was going to deal with this lady. But this lady felt that without this man, I cannot be. So he showcased like that. You don't need to be naked. You need to be decent. You need to look okay. You need to look talk softly. Don't talk. Ga, 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 ga. I do tell women. It's not compulsory you will talk in public, especially when you are still single and searching. Let your words be few and work more diligently and respect everybody. And you see that marriage, see, now man, they right here since I'm not seeing her today. I've been looking for wife for 20 something years. Only God know why that one. But you see that men are looking for women. Many men want to settle down. The reason why they have not settled down is that they have not seen women of the character they want. Boaz was not saying that he want a wife, but once he see a wife, you know how many young men have married? Because they see a character, they hold on. Most time, not that the man want to go and marry, but he has seen a woman. That is how men usually marry. Who. That's how men usually marry. Who. Man can be 50, 45. Parents will be saying, why are you not married? But you know, man at 25, just see a lovely character. And so, oh my God, this one is wonderful. This is how men marry. It is when years have passed that men start searching for women. At the beginning, men are not really searching. Men are busy doing their thing. A woman come to the office. A woman come to church. A woman come to department. And the lady is wonderful. And the man say, ah, you look beautiful. The woman begins to talk. And they say, I'm a child of God, though. I will not break my covenant with God. He say, ah, that's what I even want. Let's prepare for marriage. You say, ah, this young man you want to marry, I've seen something that I want. So let me get married. This is how many men married on time. Many men. Many, most men that don't marry on time because they did not see their desire on time. And so you can be nice and marry. The Bible did not tell her that Boaz was, Boaz was looking for a wife. Boaz was not looking for a wife. But she saw something. He saw something in a woman. So there's something in you that will even make somebody who is already married say, Ah, I want to recommend this sister for my friend though. You were the man was not ready, friend. Didn't he say he said this sister is very good though. Come and plug this one. That's how many people marry. And so you must show that good character that a man will pass you and say, if I don't marry this woman, I'll not go sleep. Ruth say, Boaz that day cannot sleep until he do it. Father, we thank you because you are faithful. Thank you for your word tonight. Thank you for what you have given to us. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for what you have released upon your people, upon all married, single, and expectant. The grace to build our attitude, to grace to build manners that we attract great people around us. We receive it tonight in the name of Jesus. So Amen. shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless your guest minister. It was nice having you. Thank you, mommy, <laughs> for the privilege. <laughs> God bless you all. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now forevermore. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I see to put our WhatsApp. If you say, Pastor, we have a, I have a story I want us to, to help us to talk about this life story. Write me WhatsApp. We'll bring it to scripture and we'll talk about it. God bless you all. Enjoy your day. See you guys tomorrow from the altar. Bye, mommy. And bye. I love bye. you. See you. Bye.